Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to show you what steps you need to take if you want to switch from a WhatsApp 360 dialogue over to WhatsApp Cloud, because there are some steps that you need to take in order to use the exact same phone number that you used in 360 dialogue. So the first thing that you will need to do is go inside your 360 dialogue and basically cancel your account with 360 dialogue. And the way to do this is as following. Once you are at your WhatsApp account, and if you go towards your main dashboard, you can see all your WhatsApp accounts on the right hand side. Choose the one that you want to cancel and then scroll all the way down until you see cancel subscription. I already did so, so I cannot cancel it anymore, but this will allow you to cancel this. So the thing that you also need to check with is to enable the automatic deletion of your phone number in the WhatsApp manager. So if you enable that, 360 Dialog will automatically delete that profile for you. So that is something that you will need to be able to remove the phone number from your WhatsApp business manager. And then you can use it directly inside of WhatsApp Cloud. So the cancel of subscription can take up to 30 days, as you can see here, but the deletion will most likely be happening in within just one or two hours. And the next step that you need to take is to create your own WhatsApp business profile. You can log in towards your business manager and then go towards your WhatsApp manager and create your account. So if you go towards your WhatsApp manager and if you want to do so, you can log into your Facebook business manager and you should have some kind of WhatsApp manager icon tab here. So if you press that, you will come towards the main overview. And from this overview, as you can see, I already created my WhatsApp account now, but you will be able to add your WhatsApp account along with your phone number. So with the adding of a phone number, you will need to have your WhatsApp business profile display name, right? So this could be your business. For me, it's just my personal branding. So I'm using my own name. Then we need to select a category. So depending on your niche, select the appropriate category. And then you can also have a business description. It is optional, but I have found that it works towards getting your a phone number approved a little bit faster. A few times I just left out the business description and it took a few hours up to a day, I believe, before my phone number was approved. So it could be just coincidence, but just fill in the business description really, really short. Once done, you can go and basically go to the next tab. And from there, you will be able to add your phone number in. You, this phone number should now be released from 360 Dialog and you now should be able to add that towards this WhatsApp business profile. Once created, you will get an overview of your phone numbers, as you can see here. And you might also need, uh, if we go towards the phone number section here, in your case, there could be some uh, warning icons, a, a triangle with a exclamation mark inside. If you hover over it, you will see what the pending status is and what the error currently shows. Most often is that the display name needs to be approved and is pending before your business profile will be verified. Once this is verified, you can go towards the next step. And the next step is basically to create your own WhatsApp business app. So your WhatsApp cloud app, right? And I'm not going to touch base on how to create the app because we have a good WhatsApp cloud course created by Matthew. And you can just follow it by just going towards uchat.au slash courses slash WhatsApp cloud API, right? Once your phone number has been verified, you basically have your WhatsApp business profile all completed. And now you will be able to connect that towards your WhatsApp cloud app. So if you go towards the developer section, you should now be able to go and see your verified number here, right? So this should now pop up your verified number. You can also use a test number, of course, to make sure in the meantime that you can set up your entire chatbot over at GeoChat. But once your main number has been verified, you can basically switch over and use your verified phone number. So these are the steps that you need to take in order to switch from 360 Dialog over to WhatsApp Cloud Manager. And again, you need to do some manual steps. It is not something that we can avoid, but for now, Use these steps to be able to migrate. If you have any questions, do let us know and we'll try to help you out.
For now, have a great day, take care, and have fun building.